generally ladies don't like falling breasts they don't like sagging breasts so they are ready to do anything to get their breast firmer pointed and standing good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss mary popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be talking about falling breasts i'm going to be talking about sagging of the breast that makes most ladies worried and pet up and i have been getting questions in regards to breastfeeding and um sagging breasts if breastfeeding is responsible for falling breasts if a mother's breastfeeding technique is responsible for sagging breasts so i'm going to be explaining all this i'm going to be explaining the causes of what sagging breast or falling breast like we normally call it but before we go into details in today's class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on that subscribe button turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not smith's very saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today we are going to be talking about the causes of breast sagging i'm going to be sharing with you seven causes of breast sagging or breast falling like people normally call it oh my breast has fallen down i don't really know why so i'm going to be sharing with you the causes why it happens and also i'm still going to be telling you the effect of pregnancy or breastfeeding on the size and shape of your breast and also debunk that myth that people say about it first of all i want you to take note of the fact that if your breast has fallen it's about to fall down like you normally call it that doesn't really define your true beauty that doesn't really define who you are sometimes the breast will just fall no matter what you do or you feel you do you will do about it it gets falling or it sags on its own naturally and it's meant to happen and there's nothing you will do that might break it up so the first cause of breast sagging i'm going to be sharing with you is aging aging as one ages what happens is that there's what we call ligaments these ligaments that are found around the breast they help to hold your breast in position they have to hold it properly the fat the tissues in the breast this ligament helps it but as you grow old as you increase in age these ligaments they stretch they become weak they are unable to hold it in place thereby making it falling or sagging so with age the breast tends to sag the breast tends to fall because that ligament that holds it in position is stretching and is getting weak over time generally your body system says when you are growing old when you are growing advanced when you are growing big your body tends to be weak your body tends to be less stronger than it ought to be that is the same way that happens that same thing that happens to the ligament that holds the breast in position then the second cause of a breast sagging i want to share with you is gravitational pull the way you position yourself are you having a good posture or a bad posture a bad posture can lead to breast falling for example if you're always bending you can see you're always bending yourself different bad posture can increase the gravitational pull thereby making your breast down so bad posture gravitational pull can result in breast sagging so you know then the third one i have to share with you is smoking if you are a lady and you smoke that can have implications on your breast can result in breast sagging because there's what is found in smoke the cigarette you are taking the that's known as carcinogens this affects the elasticity this affects the ligament this affects the elasticity in such a way that it stretches and it's not able to hold your breast firmly like it's normally does then the fourth point i have to share with you is lack of proper support for the breast lack of proper support for the breast as a lady it is advisable you wear well fitted bra not too tight and also not to lose a bra when going out i when evolving in exercises it is advisable you wear a well fitted bra lack of well fitted bra can lead to what can lead to breast sagging i am not saying that you should use your bra to sleep at night you need to remove your bra when sleeping at night to ensure adequate blood flow around that area then the other point i want to share with you that causes breast sagging is 
sunburn, ultraviolet rays. This reduces the elasticity. This reduces the elasticity around the breast. It affects this ligament in such a way that they will not be able to hold the breast firmly. So exposure to this radiation, exposure to sun, sunburn that affects the elasticity can affect your breast, thereby making it sagging. Then the other point, which is the sixth point I have to share with you, is weight gain. Yes, weight gain. For those that have fluctuations in weight, today they are fat, tomorrow they are slim, next tomorrow they are fat, they get their sleep. This fluctuation with weight can actually result in breast sagging. Because when you add weight, you stretch this ligament. When you add weight, you stretch the ligament. So the ligament is stretched, the ligament is overworked. Then when you reduce back again, just assume. Just see what happens. For example, you know rubber band, how it looks like. For example, I use rubber band, okay, to cycle this Pepsi. I put rubber band in this Pepsi. It will stretch to this extent. Maybe when this Pepsi gets fatter, explode, the rubber band will stretch. So if the Pepsi goes back to its normal stage again, you see the, the, the rubber band is no longer elastic as it used to be. The elasticity will reduce. That's the same way that weight fluctuation in weight can cause breast sagging. Adding weight can cause breast sagging. So even if you want to reduce your weight or add weight, you should do that slowly. Not today you are extremely fat, then tomorrow you are, you are slim again. You don't really have this healthy weight gain or healthy weight loss. Then that takes us to the last point which I would like to share with you, which is pregnancy. Yes, a lot of people are talking about pregnancy, breastfeeding, affecting the breast. Let me tell you something. Pregnancy is what actually affects the breast, not breastfeeding per se. Yes, pregnancy is what sincerely affects your breast. Because during pregnancy, your breast becomes fuller, your breast increases. And as your breast increases, that ligament, that elasticity it stretches. You know, so during pregnancy, it becomes fuller. It makes the ligaments to stretch. That elastic nature, it stretches it. So after pregnancy, it, the breast will go back to its normal shape. Definitely, that elastic uh, nature has reduced, and that may lead to a sagging breast. Whether you breastfeed your baby or you don't breastfeed your baby, the breast might sag. So you don't just say that breastfeeding generally is responsible for breast sagging breastfeeding your baby or not breastfeeding your baby your breast might sag because what is actually responsible for that stretching ligaments is pregnancy because during pregnancy the breast uh, ligament it stretches and to be able to hold the breast because the breast is preparing its milk to be able to breastfeed your baby so that is what will actually take place in pregnancy and breastfeeding so whether you breastfeed your baby or you do not breastfeed your baby the breast might still sag so these are the seven points i decided to share with you today in regards to the causes of sagging breasts in the next video we're going to be sharing with you ways to prevent breast sagging please and please try and stay tuned for the next video thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmesmiri saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.